So it's going to be forever or it's going to go down in flames. I'm SC Cup. This is unfiltered. Former President Donald Trump's got a blank space and he'll write your name if you suck up to him. South Carolina Senator Tim Scott's presidential run didn't go anywhere. Despite spending millions, he never went above 4% in an average of polls, and he was outlasted by other competitors, including his home state rival, Nikki Haley. As governor there, she appointed him senator in 2012, and you'd think that that would result in some allegiance to Haley, but nope. Turns out Scott is just as craven and cowardly as the rest of the Republican Party. On Friday, Scott joined Trump in New Hampshire to endorse his run for president and kiss the ring. It was quite the sight to behold. Trump invited a grinning Scott to join him on stage at a rally, but not before he humiliated him, as Trump is wont to do. Today was a big story, the biggest story out there. He's engaged to be married. We never thought this was going to happen. What's going on? An immature jab at his bachelor status. How nice of the former president to repay Scott's loyalty with a bigoted joke right to his face. Trump also used Scott as a pawn to take a jab at Haley. Did you ever think that she actually appointed you, Tim? And think of it, appointed and you're the senator of his state and she endorsed me. You must really hate her. And how courageous of Scott to brush it off preen on stage and offer up to Trump. I just love you. No, that's good. It was just last spring when Scott was at a kickoff event for his presidential campaign and asked. Victimhood or victory? Victory. Grievance or greatness? greatness? Well, what a difference a loss makes. This, ladies and gentlemen, is yet another glowing example of the great emasculation of the GOP by Donald Trump, where grown men throw themselves at a guy who has smeared and slammed them in hopes of becoming his VP? How does this happen? How does Trump spend months bashing Florida Governor Ron DeSantis as someone who'd be working at a pizza parlor, if not for him? He'd be working in a pizza shop. And then get DeSantis's endorsement minutes after he drops out. Trump is superior to the current incumbent, Joe Biden. This isn't new, of course. Remember how Trump slammed Texas Senator Ted Cruz's wife? And how he falsely accused his father of helping assassinate John F. Kennedy? His father was with Lee Harvey Oswald prior to Oswald's being, uh, you know, shot. I call him Little Marco, Little Marco. How he Hello. mocked Florida Senator Marco Rubio for his height, his education, his ears. How he called Kentucky Senator Rand Paul a spoiled brat without a properly functioning brain. All those guys ended up endorsing Trump in 2016. Yes, Trump's got a long list of ex-lovers. They'll tell you he's insane, but he knows the players, the GOP sycophants who can't seem to stand up to him for more than a minute, and apparently they love the game. Maybe it's true that boys only want Trump's love if it's torture. And for all of us watching this nightmare dressed like a daydream, it's pretty torturous. We'll have to see if they ever learn that the loyalty usually only flows one way and that Trump's love is fleeting. He can make the bad guy good for a weekend, but when it's over, was the high worth the pain?